Well, you're probably familiar with the hand-cranked emergency radios and flashlights that run on kinetic energy, but now a company in Burtonsville, Maryland has taken that idea one step further. This time, they're using the weight of your car or truck to start the flywheel moving and generate electricity. The company, New Energy Technologies, has already tested one device at a Burger King drive through in New Jersey, but as Clean Skies' Dan Goldstein explains, the energy harvesters, as they're called, are on their way to be one of the premier addresses in Washington. If you think that's just a funny looking speed bump, think again. It's actually a new device called an energy harvester. The device is built by New Energy Technology and it's designed to capture kinetic energy from light trucks and cars at high volume traffic points as they slow down and stop. Basically it acts as a brake. The, the driver of the car doesn't have to um, press hard on the brake and it'll slow the car down. And the process of slowing the car down, it captures some of the waste of kinetic energy and converts it into electricity. Mitesh Patel, president of New Energy Technology, told me how it works on the inside. The car goes over the device. The, the treadles um, depress on, on levers. Levers spin, create, um, they, they run through a, a generator and create a, electricity. Right now there's a flywheel that, that's creating the electricity and storing the, the electricity. The device can illuminate small lights like this one, which could be used to power toll booths and drive throughs This one is the first prototype of several that will be installed in the Four Seasons Hotel here in Washington. And given an average hotel spends about $2,200 a year powering a room, the Four Seasons hopes the energy harvesters can cut down on their power bills. As you can imagine, Four Seasons, the hotel uses so much electricity that if one way we're able to find a way to reduce the amount of consumption that we have to take to, to have this 222 room hotel operated or at least reduce the amount of electricity that we're pulling um, will be very very helpful for us. Now the company says it can create about 2,000 watts of electricity just by stepping on this plunger here. The next step, storing it. We create it now but we have to capture storage and then re-deliver and uh, we're in the middle of a uh, prototype for that and hope to have that in a demonstration project in the next six weeks. While the prototypes in this initial stage cost several thousand dollars, the company says it would take as little as two or three years to recoup the investment in safe power. Not bad for a little bump in the road. Dan Goldstein, Clean Skies News.